Hey everyone, Frank the Lunatic, back yet again, with yet another rant, because after all, there's always a hell of a lot of things in life for me to bitch and moan about. It really is. What do I gotta complain about today? Well, how about the usage of words? Certain words, things that get used in advertising, things that are supposed to grab your attention, basically. Words that they use that, honestly, sound like they mean something. But if you really looked into the definition of some of these things sometimes, it doesn't really mean much at all. For example, look at uh, car dealers. You know, you, you look around, like Chevy, Ford, things like that. Certified service. Certified service. Huh. That's an interesting one. Sort of makes it sound like you're, you're getting, you know, grade A, you know, great service on your vehicle. Because these, these, these mechanics are certified. Well, marketing gimmick, people. First of all, at a major dealership, Ford, Chevy, Chrysler, even Toyota, things like that. First of all, these mechanics usually have to be ASE certified. So they are already a certified mechanic, meaning that they've already had training and everything to do the basic stuff that's universal in a sense on cars. So the service is already certified because it's already being done by certified mechanics. But not only that, you've got some of your basic mechanics, but then you get into some of the other things with the cars, and they have to go for specialized training, you know, for Ford or GM, things like that. So they're certified even more. So when you get these dealerships that have these, you know, certified service, it's already freaking certified. Marketing gimmick. That's all it is. And I'll tell you what, you bring your car to Pet Boys, guess what? You're working at Pet Boys, ASE certified. You know, it, it's different than Joe Brown's garage. You know, yeah, they might not be have anyone ASE certified, things like that. But major dealerships. It is certified service already being done by certified mechanics who know how to work on those particular vehicles. Then they like doing other words like, you know, when you buy a uh, certified used. Well, first of all, we already know it's a used vehicle. Certified used. They're certifying that it's used and it's in shape. Because they throw these words out saying how they're doing hundred and something point inspection. Guess what? Next time you buy a used car that's not certified, look at the inspection sticker. Probably hasn't been changed yet. Now get a certified vehicle. And all they did was they did a state inspection. They actually went and inspected everything that's actually on that ridiculously long checklist that they really are supposed to check that very few places actually check at all. Maybe it's a little bonus there, but technically they're doing what they're supposed to be doing when you pay to get an inspection done. That's all that means. And meanwhile, a certified used car could turn around and cost you, you know, like two grand more. For that inspection sticker. So it is. Doesn't mean the car is any better. That car is going to die just as much. Just as fast. Doesn't mean they actually went and took your alternator. And tested your alternator to make sure that it's, you know, putting out a charge. and that. No, it doesn't mean anything like that at all. Why? Because that's not part of the normal inspection process. Morons. Let me see. What other words they use um, when it comes to cars? They like throwing words out there like uh, 
virtually approved. They, the Hyundai, the Rosado dealerships used to do this a lot. Vir, that you're, you're virtually approved. For what, a virtual loan for a virtual car? What the hell does that mean? People think that they're getting approved, that they're going to go down, they're gonna get like automatic approval. No, it's not guaranteed approval. It's virtual approval. You're virtually getting approved. They're saying this is what the car's gonna cost you. Doesn't mean you were approved though. At all. Not in the least. Uh-uh. Or here's another one they use about uh, applying for the loans for the cars. Accepting all applications. Well, yeah, that doesn't mean you're getting approved for the car. Guess what? The banking laws and the anti-discrimination laws when it comes to lending practices says they have to take an application from you. You can go back every single day and fill out an application for finance and just be a thorn in their side they have to take it from you. It's against the law if they don't. So it doesn't mean that you're getting approved. They have no choice but to let you fill out the application and they have to take it. Doesn't mean they're doing anything with it, but they have to take it. Again, another play on words to get people down to the dealerships thinking that we're going to get approved for a car. Or the other gimmicks like, you know, $99 down delivers. Yeah, and then you have to read that fine print that says, for very well qualified. I love that term, by the way. Very well qualified. Why don't you just put in the ads for people with 900 or better credit scores or 800 or better? Again, bringing people down, thinking, I can get a car for just $99 down. No! The person who has money, that makes money, that has that huge credit score, because they make money, and really don't need the loan, because they could probably buy the car at cash, can get the better interest rate and the better deal and that on it. But you, you poor slob, that's, you know, making 10 bucks an hour, I really need some little shitbox car to replace the really super shitbox car you had that basically blew up and caught fire. For you, no, we're going to give you 22% interest and you've got to pay off the loan in two years. That's what you're getting. Going to show how, once again, the play on words is just unbelievable. It happens in a lot of forms of advertising, but it happens more in the car industry, honestly, to get you suckered in. Or even some of the deals when they used to do deals for, like, tires for life. Tires for life. Read the fine print you discover. Yes, you can get tires for life as long as you have all your maintenance work all your preventative maintenance work done at the dealership. All your royal changes that they're going to charge you 60 bucks for. You know, all your brake jobs. Everything has to be done at the dealership for you to be able to get the tires for life. So when it all adds up, you would have been better off going in tires on your own because those free tires probably cost you three times the price and because of what you paid to have this maintenance work done that you probably could have done yourself, like, you know, an oil change or changing your front brakes or things like that. Once again, a play on words, things to get people suckered in because they say something and you sort of hear something, but you think about it and you really hear what you want to hear and, you know, wishful thinking and all that other stuff. And it's like, no, you know, just like those, those mailers they send out about contests with the key that's going to unlock or, or the thing you scratch off. Scratch off three of these and let's see what you're going to win here. You know, and, and the prize would be like a box of kitty shit, uh, a box of donuts, <laughs> or a new car, you know, that whole thing. And it seems like everyone in the neighborhood just happens to have the numbers or whatever to possibly win that new car. 
you know, and then you're going to read the little description, the back of the really fine, fine, fine print, and you discover that it's like, you know, that the winning key is like one out of every like 100,000 or something or 500,000. And the dealership did not mail out. There probably isn't that many hundred thousand people in your freaking town, you know, or something. You know, like, you know, like you look at some of the odds, the things on the back. When you see things like, uh, you know, odds of winning the free donut, one out of every one. Well, doesn't that basically mean that every single one of those things just wins the free donut, or maybe one out of two? Half the people out there win the free donut. The others go to go home with their fingers in their ass type of thing. And nobody ever wins the car. You never see. You don't see anything on the news. You, you don't hear anything about somebody actually winning a car in one of those things. Or winning $50,000. No. Like I said, read the freaking print. It's impossible. It's, it's impossible. Again, a play on words to get you down to the dealership. It's like a come on sale to get you down there and look and, you know, you know you're probably not going to buy because you probably can't even get approved. But now, for something that is not a play on words, because they're used by somebody else on YouTube, YouTube I'm Frank the Lunatic and I approve this message. <laughs> and that's all my friends that I have to say about that.